Hey guys, and welcome back to the randomized K-On! Pokemon Team series. We've done two of the girls so far, but we still have a long way to go. So let's head up the randomizer and give our scaredy cat bassist Mio a team. Before we start though, I don't think I need to mention that if Mio was in the Pokemon world, a lot of Pokemon would scare the bejesus out of her. So for the sake of this video, and all future episodes featuring her, we're going to pretend that Mio is much less of a scaredy cat. Starting with Pokemon number 1, Mio gets... Snorlax. That is not at all a bad start. Whenever Mystic Umbreon does his best teams that involve Kanto Pokemon, Snorlax is one of the staples. And he always calls it Peter Griffin. And it's easy to see why. This thing is so damn good. High HP, high attack, and look at that move pool. Even in Gen 1, there is a lot you can do with a Snorlax. I think it's one of, if not THE most versatile normal type, at least in Gen 1, and it only got better as time went on. So this is a really good start for Mio's team. What Mio would think of this thing, however, I have no idea. For the second Pokemon, Mio gets... Zapdos. Damn, I thought Ritsu was lucky getting a Dragonite. Now Mio gets one of the legendary birds. I'm not taking its new Galarian form into account as I don't believe it's been added to the game. But even in its Gen 1 form, this is one heck of a Pokemon to have on a team. Being a legendary, it's got pretty good stats. 125 special is definitely going to hurt. Move-wise, it is pretty limited. Having Drill Peck though does give it a bit of an edge over the other two birds since they only get Peck. So this was a really lucky Pokemon for Mio to get. The only way any of the other girls are beating this is if one of them gets Mewtwo. Only time will tell. For Mio's third Pokemon, she gets... Mr. Mime. Definitely one of the more controversial Pokemon. I've seen a few people saying how much they hate Mr. Mime pretty much exclusively because of its appearance. And while I do not share that opinion and am personally indifferent, I can kind of see why this Pokemon gets the hate it does. But we're not here to talk about that. In terms of stats, Mr. Mime is far from the most powerful psychic type in Kanto, that honor goes to Alakazam. But it still has really good special and decent speed, and its moveset is acceptable. MDB used one in one of his challenge runs, and it's definitely put in a lot of work. So even though it gets a lot of hate, a Mr. Mime would definitely serve you well. Pokemon number 4 for Mio is... Vileplume. That's not terrible. Vileplume is a decent Pokemon. It's got pretty good stats, although that speed is kind of lacking. And in terms of moves, it's fairly standard for a Gen 1 Grass Poison type, although no access to Sludge is disappointing. But having a Vile Plume could still prove useful in terms of using the Powder moves and Toxic. And if it has Petal Dance, it's hitting pretty damn hard. So overall, a nice addition to the team. And who knows, maybe Mia would be able to befriend one of these since it doesn't exactly scream... Intimidation! 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 Moving to the penultimate Pokemon, Mio gets... Hitmonchan. Not bad at all. Hitmonchan's a pretty solid Pokemon. A bit of a shame its HP is so low, but great attack, decent defense at speed, and having the elemental punches for coverage is nice. I imagine some people have debated which of the two Hitmons is better, but I'd say they both have their merits. And hey, Hitmonchan is the punching Pokemon, and what does Mio do a lot of? Punching Ritsu's skull. So her having Hitmonchan kind of fits in a funny way. Wouldn't you agree? And finally, Mio's last Pokemon is... Machamp. Ah, uh, there it is again. More than one Pokemon of the same type. I should probably just get used to that. But in some ways, I think Machamp actually has some advantages over Hitmonchan. It is slower, but it's quite a bit bulkier and hits substantially harder. And while it doesn't get the elemental punches in Gen 1, it does look to have a slightly wider move pool. Although how it would use Fire Blast, I have no idea. And again, we have a Pokemon that attacks largely with punches, which fits with Mio, who we all know loves to punch Ritsu. 
This is a really good Pokemon to round off Mio's team for Gen 1. And that's it for Mio's Gen 1 team. Overall, I'd say it's pretty solid. And it's a lot less intimidating than I thought it might be, which is great for Mio. Although, as I said at the start, we're pretending Mio's not the crybaby scaredy cat she is in k -On. And who knows, if Mio was to become a trainer, maybe she'd like it. Or if the thoughts of Pokemon getting hurt in battle was too much for her, maybe she could become a Pokemon breeder like Brock. Who can say for sure? As always, please rate, comment and subscribe, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, consider backing me on Patreon, and remember to stay chilled.